It's fair to say that with the coronavirus around, it's been very hard for a Nintendo stock to be around. And if you're like this idiot who really needs to go to school, you're probably going to buy one of these. A third party dock. Third party docks are not good. That's it at the end of the video. But most of you guys want an explanation, so why not? Now, I'm coming at this as a consumer from the UK, which is what I am, so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. So, throughout this entire video, this is a perspective of a Nintendo Switch user from the UK. Now, obviously, it may differ for you, but it, this is how it is for me. The Nintendo Switch dock is something that is amazing. But Nintendo, for whatever reason, in the UK has dropped the ball. Because of the lack of Nintendo Switch dock availability in the UK, third party docks here have been sold more. It's on, the only way you can get a Nintendo Switch dock if you go on Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, or whatever, get it used, or you buy a new Switch. It, it's, it's, it's just beyond the point. If you go into the official Nintendo UK website, you would not be surprised by the fact that it's out of stock. This is not a big surprise during the pandemic that we're having at the moment and it costs only £80 which is no more price for a dock. Surprisingly all the reviews on the website are from 2018 or prior none from 2019 and onwards. The Nintendo Switch official dock has been out of stock since 2019 and it hasn't actually been restocked since. No one knows why that is. Either it's to do something with Brexit or it's something to do with Nintendo. Weirdly enough, they sent it on Amazon, but it doesn't have any of the official images. It's images like this. When you actually search on Amazon for the Nintendo Switch dock, the very first result isn't actually the official one. It's a third party one. And when you scroll down, then you find that resale one. The prices vary time to time. Now it's 80, but before I just saw it was 150. Probably by the time you're watching this, it's 150 again, or even more, or probably even less. No one knows why. Even official retailers such as Game, which is basically the GameStop of the UK, does it even sell the Nintendo Switch dock? They sell charging docks, which are just like ones that you get for your phone, face plates for the dock. Other accessories such as fans they add on to it, but not the dock itself for whatever reason. No one knows why. They even sell weird ones like this which apparently have a battery built into it. I don't know why you would need that, but oh well. Argos, which is basically a warehouse supermarket type of thing, doesn't even sell the Switch dock as well, which is weird. They sell everything else other than the official dock. For whatever reason, they do not stock the official Nintendo Switch dock. They sell every other thing, Joy-Con, Pro Controllers, cases, uh, third party controllers, everything else but this. That's why a person would buy a third party dock. Now the reason why you shouldn't be using a third party dock is very obvious. They're not official. These companies don't know what they're doing at all. Wolfden has done a video on how they actually consume power. So I recommend you watch that video, that will be in the description below. Make sure you watch that video because it goes more in depth on the power that's being used. Now TLDR on that is, you could use one, but you can't put it to sleep. But if you do, you're going to end up with basically a dead one. It may seem very nice to have a third party dock. Something like this can be very easily put into your pocket or your bag or whatever. But would you risk it? Would you really want to lose? all that precious save data that you accumulated over your 500 hour playtime. As tempting as it may be, you are risking your precious save data and you're going to be wasting the money you spent on your Switch and the money you spent on that third party dock. Third party docks rely on USB power delivery, which the Switch doesn't use. You could use a micro dock. That doesn't follow any USB power delivery which is even worse because that is known to break your switch. Either way, you're going to end up losing your switch and you're going to end up either losing money due to the fact that you break the switch and you never use it again or the fact that Nintendo updates the switch and it becomes redundant. It's very difficult right now to get Nintendo anything and it's sad to say that third party docks are not a good option either so if you want to get another dock you're gonna have to wait for the pandemic is over and then import one if you're living in the uk if 
if you just wanted to have a dock that's more portable, then you're gonna have to go and get yourself a fast top case. Fast top is actually not that bad, you're just taking your existing dock and just slapping it into a smaller package. Something that's easy to go around with you and something that Nintendo should have done in the first place but for whatever reason didn't do it. Yeah, it really annoys me, but oh well. Nintendo UK really needs to pick up what they're doing wrong and actually restock the dock once this whole apocalypse is over. It's sad to say that the UK isn't that great when it comes to Switch accessories and even official retailers are selling unofficial Joy-Cons. So Nintendo, you really need to do better. And Activision, if you're watching this, Put Call of Duty Mobile on Switch. Do it. I'm Saeed, signing off. Whoa! Whoa! You see all that is happening behind me? Whoa! That's crazy, that, this is crazy.